So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. And I'm just going to be rubbing that through and detangling the hair. It's also freshly dyed. Now I'm making a part. It doesn't matter what kind of part you want to make. It's a sleek back hairstyle. Some people want middle parts. Some people want side parts. I'm just trying something new with a side part. And the only products I used was the Hicks Edge Control and some Jamaican castor oil just to fill in all my conditioner and moisture. And I'm just rubbing that through. It really doesn't take much for me to get my hair to slick back, so I didn't really put that much. Please excuse the giant stain on my shirt. Like I said, I just dyed my hair black, so. You can use a brush, you can use a little toothbrush, which is what I prefer to use. You can use a comb. But my they just my edges just lay pretty easily. And after you've gotten everything laid, you want to go ahead and just tie it up. I let it um stay tied up for about twenty to thirty minutes. And the hair I use is the mumbo twist. I chose to use the smaller twist because my hair is pretty fine and it's really curly, so it'll look more like my hair with the smaller twist. And you only need one pack unless you just want this really huge ponytail, which I'm going to show you in the video how to get it thicker and more full. So starting with one strand, which I shouldn't have unraveled. I found it was easier to just do it without unraveling it. You just take it with the little knot at the end, just take the end of it through the circle and it'll knot. It's just like a crochet, you just put it on a ponytail holder. Make sure it's a pretty good ponytail holder. And then you can unravel after you've gotten it all on there. So I've gotten a bunch of them on there now. I'm just going to show you how I unravel them and just take them apart. They won't come off there and they're really tight. And you don't want the ponytail holder to show that much. You want to make sure it's pretty full and it's on there really good. That's kind of how you can measure how um, full it's going to be. You want to make sure you cover up the whole ponytail holder. And now I'm just going to start unraveling. And if they kind of bend up, all you have to do is kind of twirl them the opposite way of the curl and they'll lay down and they'll come down pretty straight. Now this is how I make the ponytail a lot fuller and a lot more realistic because my hair isn't, it isn't this perfectly coiled. So I'm just kind of messing up the curl pattern. Just getting a little more thickness, a little bit more realistic. Now you want to go through um, how many strands you feel. It's it's really um your own personal choice. I like it pretty kinky. You can see the difference after I've gotten like half of it done. And that's the entire product. Now I'm just going to take it and attach it to the back of my head. Hair is pretty light. And it's still wet, so it, if I had let it dry overnight, it probably would be a lot more late. But for the purpose of the video, I just want to kind of go ahead and get it over with. I had somewhere to go. You can see how thick the ponytail is now. I just braided my hair in the back into two little braids. They're just going to lay under the ponytail. Kind of in between it, you're not going to see it. 
And when you put it on there, you want to kind of make sure you can get around there maybe three times. You want the ponytail to be pretty taut. So it doesn't like blow up or flip up or just move too much and not look like it's attached to your head. And you just kind of turn it and flip it over and let your braids kind of lay in the middle of it. And take it on there. It's pretty flawless. Hey guys, so I've actually just finished and time enough to run to the store real quick. I'm gonna do a spin around for y'all so you can see the actual, like, it's very flawless. Like, you don't see anything. You can't tell that's not tapped to my head as far as that goes. But. Um, it's a little shiny right now, but that's eventually gonna go away as the hair gets old. But I, that's about it for this hairstyle. So thanks, guys.